Okay. Georgine, here is that detergent that you talked about. So you want that back, right? Okay. There was a, a gentleman that we visited um, a couple of weeks back. It's a veteran. And I didn't, I didn't know his name was Alvin. And it was just a circumstance with his family. Um, they had fallen on financial hard times. Um, but prior to that, they were always sustainable. Uh, and, you know, they didn't really need the help. We had this cancer diagnosis. And I was thinking, here we go again with this cancer. We were just about to get righted. Our ship was just about to right itself again after trying to help out his son, my stepson, and uh, then suddenly the bottom just can't, fell out again. And so I said, I'm not going down without a fight. We've put too much into this life. And I just started calling different places. And St. Vincent's answered. Well, when you've been independent all your life and you've been helping other people, you, you never even consider that you would be in that position. You just feel good about helping other people. So when it finally happens, it's almost like you're stunned. How could I get in this position? How do I act? You, you're not accustomed to asking for help. It was just so much going on. And I couldn't think how to get up out of this. So when St. Vincent's came along and reached out that hand, it was like pulling you out of the murk where somebody can sit you back on your feet and say, okay, take a moment, take a breath. We're here to help you. And you breathe and you can do this again. You can get back to where you were as productive, viable people.